Good morning, my name is James. This is video three of nutrition, pregnancy, and lactation. Now we will cover nutrients seven, eight, and nine. Calcium is nutrient seven. It is needed for skeletal solidarity and dental durability. It has a major role in helping the circulatory, muscular and nervous systems work properly. Pregnant and breastfeeding women should get a thousand milligrams a day, preferably 1200 milligrams a day, entailing four dairy serves of calcium a day. Healthy sources of calcium include low-fat dairy products, calcium fortified orange juice, which you shouldn't really have if you're gestational diabetes or diabetes, milk substitutes and cereals. Number eight is folic acid. Folic acid helps with the synthesis of DNA for new tissues. This is required for the development of a baby's brain and spinal cord. It is needed to make red blood cells and white blood cells used in immunity. Women will need at least 400 micrograms 0.4 milligrams, that is, of folic acid daily leading up to conception and during the first trimester of pregnancy to reduce the risk that their baby will be born with spina bifida, a neural tube defect. Pregnant women should get 600 micrograms 0.6 milligrams of folic acid during the second and third trimesters. During lactation, breastfeeding women need 500 micrograms, which is half a milligram, 0.5 milligrams daily. Good sources of folic acid include fortified breads and cereals. Folate is the natural form of this vitamin and is found in leafy green vegetables, citrus fruits, avocados, lentils and beans. Now number nine is the third nutrient in the third video and it is iodine. Iodine is metabolism's accelerator or gas pedal. It is involved with the biosynthesis of triiodothyronine and thyroxine, which have respectively three atoms and four atoms of iodine in each molecule. In the thyroid gland this happens, this facilitates growth and brain development. Insufficient iodine during pregnancy can result in cretinism, a severe pathological retardation both mentally and physically. This involves developmental delays, hypothyroidism, poor growth, and learning problems. Pregnant and breastfeeding women should use iodized salt in their cooking and eat foods high in iodine, like seafood and dairy products. They also should take a daily prenatal vitamin that includes 150 micrograms that's millions of a gram of iodide. If your prenatal vitamin doesn't have enough, talk to your doctor about taking a supplement. 
Thank you very much for listening. That's video three.